The true story of Molly Bloom, an Olympic class skier who ran the world's most exclusive high stakes poker game and became the FBI target. Hey guys, and welcome to my new movie review for her Molly's Game. This movie came out in 2017. It is rated M. The duration of this film is 2 hours and 20 minutes. It is a bio-crime drama. The director of Molly's Game is Aaron Sorkin. And the cast of Molly's Game is Jessica Chastain, who plays Molly Bloom, Idris Elba, who plays Charlie, and Kevin Costner, who plays Larry Bloom. Man alive. I am not joking you in any sense of the word when I say this. I remember walking out of the cinema thinking, what did I just watch? Now I want to take, I want to, I want to just talk about something for a second because this was an element to the movie that I was like, where are they going with this? And then I understood it. The opening of the movie isn't what you think it is. In fact, the, the thumbnail, or the, not the thumbnail, the poster, should I say, of this movie is Je Jessica Chastain with glasses on a thing over her head and fully focused. But then the movie actually opens up, as the synopsis says, as her as a child being an Olympic ski, ski, you know, skiist, you know. And then... The, the part that I love, I love, 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 love about this movie so much, guys, and I mean, man, that I love this part about this movie, is the simple fact of her narration. Jessica Chastain narrates probably, I would say, maybe 80 to 90% of the movie, and you think, whoa, that's a lot of narration for a film. Trust me. It is so, so worth it and is so vital to the story. Because if it wasn't for the narration of the film, there's so much of this film that you would be literally sitting there just questioning what's going on. Why is he doing this? Why is that person doing that? Man alive. What a powerhouse performance in every, every sense. One of the things that I thought about this movie while, while re-watching it is I actually thought to myself, I mean, not just, I don't want to spoil anything because I don't do spoilers, guys. Anyone who's been following me for any period of time, I don't do spoilers and I love trivia, right? And I tell the truth about all my movies that I watch. I tell, this is my honest opinion, is... The level of wealth that she would have come into in what she ended up creating. Because I think, I, I really, really thought to myself, like right at the end of the movie, I was like, what happened to it all though? Like, it's, it's got to be somewhere. Because it was cash. And I tell you now, guys, every single player's element in this movie, every single player's element in this movie was just so vital to the storyline and it, it just crafted it perfection to absolute perfection. I was so, so, so entertained by Molly's game. This movie is so good that it has, and anyone who's been following me for any period of time knows exactly what I'm about to say, to the max. Ready for it? Say it with me. Three, two, one. Rewatchability. I remember seeing this, this movie in cinema, and I literally wanted to walk back in, literally, and watch it all over again. I remember thinking to myself, this movie cannot come on Blu-ray fast enough. Uh, genuinely, guys. It really is that incredible. 
I also want to say about this movie that I don't know why. I don't really know why. And maybe it's just because of the direction of the film or the character that she betrayed. But I've never seen Jessica Chastain. And maybe I have, but it's just not to this not to this level. So beautiful, so attractive, so stunning. Her character in this film held this quality of just pure, pure beauty, that it was brilliant, just brilliant. Honestly, guys, if you have not had the opportunity to see Molly's Game, and yeah, it came out in 2017, so it's a little bit old now, not really, but kind of a couple of years old. This movie stands the test of time with the wow factor. Purely, and I, I want to say this, I honestly want to say this, purely because of the fact of the narration of the film. Honestly. The narration of, the, of Molly's Game takes you on this in just, just ginormously grounded journey. Like, really grounded journey. You see how her boss treats her like absolute scum. I guess that's just his character, you know what I mean? But then it's like she deals with him just impeccably to the storyline. Impeccably to the storyline. Because the outcome is the journey that she goes on. Oh man. Whoa. Whoa. I want to talk about a scene at the end of this film, just for a little bit. I want to talk about this scene at this end of this film to do with Kevin Costner and Jessica Chastain. Kevin Costner brought this element to the role in their, their communication, in this specific role, this part of his role. Now, he doesn't play a ginormous role. In fact, he's quite, his role is quite small. It's quite insignificant. But, and I'm going to name another movie right now, and you're going to be like, what? What does that have to do with anything? What, direct, director Zack Snyder spoke about Gal Gadot in, in Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. He said her role isn't big, but it's vital. That's the exact same principle as Kevin Costner's role, Larry Bloom, her dad, in this movie with Jessica Chastain's character, Molly Bloom. It's the same thing. His role isn't big, but it's extremely vital to the storyline. And man alive, in every sense of the word, does it just explode. It really, really explodes. This movie is seriously one of those movies that I can honestly say, and I'm really going to say this right now, I really am. This genuinely is, and I should do a review on this one day, but I've been thinking about it actually, I should do this. This movie is, in my personal opinion, yep, the top 10 best movies Honestly, in my, in, my, in my list, it really is in the top 10 greatest movies of all time. This movie has rewatchability to its core, really. It, oh, guys, I can't even stress enough how much I love Molly's Game. I really, really can't. Guys, anyone who's been following for any period of time at all, you know that I love movie trivia. So guess what time it is? Trivia time! Molly Bloom is banned from Canada because she pleaded guilty to a federal crime in the United States. She was grounded a 48 hour pass to go to the premiere at the TIFF Film Festival. Ironically, the shot was filmed in Canada. It's widely believed that player X is Tobey Maguire. Molly Bloom told Ali Sorkins that she wanted Jessica Chastain to play her. Because of schedules, Idris Elba and Chastain had only 10 days to shoot. They shot 45 pages in the first six days. 
They rehearsed offset before shooting began and between takes. How crazy is that? Far out. Oh my gosh. Man, that's what I'm talking about. Now, player X, now I just need to describe something for, to you for a little bit. This isn't, this isn't a, a spoiler. But there's several players in the storyline of this movie. She, she, she delves very deeply. Like there's the Holly Bahar drives. And apparently player X is one of those players that she couldn't name. And they honestly, it's highly believed, as I told you in the trivia, that it is Tobey Maguire. When I found that piece of trivia out, guys, I was beside myself. And it makes so much sense. Guys, thank you seriously, everyone, all my subscribers, so much for your subscription to my movie reviews or my channel in general. Thank you so much. Please do yourselves a favor if you haven't already and click the bell for notifications and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way, as soon as I drop anything, you'll get it straight away. And if you appreciate and you like my movie review, don't forget to leave a like, a thumbs up. I really value that so, so much. You guys are amazing. I really appreciate your time. And don't forget who's bringing this movie review to you. This is Superman Steve.